Hello, my name is Ty Bollinger, and I'm a CPA, and I'm a researcher, and due to some tragedies in my family, I'm also an author. You see, I lost my mother, my father, three grandparents, an uncle, and a cousin to cancer. Uh, let me qualify that statement. The death certificate actually said that they died from cancer, but I believe that they died from the big three treatments, chemotherapy, radiation, and surgery. You see, according to Dr. Alan Levin, MD, most cancer patients die from chemotherapy. Over the past 13 years, I've spent literally thousands of hours compiling my research, and I put it all into one book, which has been called The Bible of Alternative Cancer Treatments, and that's my book, Cancer, Step Outside the Box. But I don't like the term alternative cancer treatments because that insinuates that these treatments are not as good as the primary treatments, chemotherapy, radiation, and surgery, when, in reality, they're far superior. Let me share with you a few stories of people that have read my book and successfully treated their cancer. There's a gentleman whose name is Cobus, and he was diagnosed with terminal colon cancer. And he lives in South Africa. He read my book, and being convinced that cancer does not have to be a death sentence, and also being as convinced that chemotherapy is poison, he implemented several of the treatments outlined in my book. I recently received an email from Cobus, which said that the oncologist had given him the thumbs up, his body is cancer free. There's another lady named Elaine. She was diagnosed with terminal breast cancer. She underwent one round of chemotherapy, which almost killed her. And her doctor said, I can no longer help you. Elaine said that they treated her as less than human. She read my book, and she implemented one of the treatments outlined in the book. And today, Elaine is cancer-free. Do you see why I detest the term terminal cancer? Both of these people that I've told you about were told they had terminal cancer. The reality is they're both alive. My first reaction when I hear that term is, says who? Says who your cancer is terminal? Traditional oncology? Well, if they do, that's because their treatments are inferior to the natural cancer treatments. But don't take my word for it. In 2005, the Department of Oncology with the Northern Sydney Cancer Clinic in Sydney, Australia, did a study on the effects of chemotherapy on a five-year survival rate. The results of this study are astounding. They determined that chemotherapy has a success rate of 2.3% in Australia and 2.1% in the United States. Now, over the past few years, I've been using a 3% success rate for chemotherapy, but I guess I was a little bit too high. They're actually just over 2%. To me, this is unacceptable. That's almost a 98% failure rate. My book spells out exactly how you or a friend or a loved one can beat cancer without spending a fortune and without undergoing chemotherapy, radiation, or surgery. The message of my book is that there is hope. Cancer does not have to be a death sentence, no matter what your oncologist might have told you. I firmly believe that it will be worth 10 minutes of your time to read the information on this website and learn more about the cancer breakthroughs that I've outlined in my book, breakthroughs that could save your life or the life of a loved one or a friend. To get my book, simply click on one of the links on this website. Thank you, and God bless.